uh, from fuel-induced crisis to safety concerns, the aviation sector in Nigeria is witnessing worrisome glitches. The number of commercial airlines operating in the country has gone down from 10 to 8 in the last one week. This came as the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority shut down the operations of Dana Air indefinitely for audits amid financial struggles and recurrent flight um, incidents. With air contractors temporarily shut down and Dana Air suspended indefinitely, airlines currently operating in Nigeria include Airpeace, Arik Air, Asman Air, Green Africa, Ibom Air, Max Air, Overland, and United Nigeria Airlines. Thank you. Yeah, um, it's unfortunate that our airlines are going through torrid times, really torrid times. And um, I had anticipated that government would do its best to rescue that sector. But it appears no one is bothered. I need to remind the managers of the Nigerian economy that when we had the last recession, it was only the agriculture sector and the aviation sector that were deemed to be in positive light. Others were in negative. Is that the sort of sector that we should watch struggling and probably succumb to collapse. These airline operators have demanded that they should be assisted in form of aviation fuel. The price of aviation fuel simply shot up astronomically, mm -hmm. just like just like diesel prices have shot up. Mm -hmm. But what we I've seen is a reluctance to take the remedial measures that can help these airlines survive. I still think that some of the suggestions that the airline operators made during that interface with the members of the House of Reps can be taken on board. A quarrel with the amount, I mean, the price that NMPC quotes for aviation fuel. They think that that is killing, and they suggested that they could be allowed to bring the product in by themselves. That's one good suggestion. Maybe it will be a lot lesser. But if we want to save that sector, there are steps that we can take. In the aftermath of 9-11, um, the American government had to bail out the airlines because people were reluctant to fly. So the Nigerian, uh, the American government saved the U.S. aviation sector from collapsing. It is not too much for the Nigerian government to do that at this stage. We've seen the oldest airline in our country, Aero Contractors, which began operation 61 years ago providing shuttle flights for people in the oil sector. It grew up to become, at some point, even the leading airline in our country. Today, aero contractors is yoked by debt. They are owing more than 50 billion as we speak, and it looks like it's inevitable that it will eventually uh, be gripped by the icy hands of death. I do not pray that that will happen. But the way things are going, it looks inevitable. On their own, they decided that in response to the extremely harsh environment that they are operating from, that they are deciding to suspend scheduled operations, uh, scheduled flights. Before then, the regulator moved in and told Dana to stop flying, that the, uh, the rate things were going, Dana had become so insolvent that it would not be able to pay its bills, and that in itself could eventually jeopardize 
safety. You know, when the airline is struggling to uh, access foreign exchange, so good to buy uh, aviation fuel, it could begin to cut corners in a manner that will put our lives at risk. But instead of taking such drastic steps, what can we do? Can't CBN, for example, help these guys by making Forex available at the official price? Because if it's made available at the official price of 410 per uh, dollar, for example, I don't think they will be making these complaints. A lot of business people in our country, entrepreneurs in our country, are forced to revert to the black market to access foreign exchange. We tell them, don't go to the black market, don't do this, don't do that. But they are forced by the non-availability of uh, foreign exchange to go to the black market. Mm -hmm. And when they go there, it shrinks their profit margin because it's already very high in the black market. So airlines are having to go to black market, importers are having to go to the black market. It's really, really tough on these airlines. And if we watch them continue this way, a lot of the pilots are foreigners. I mean, they are, they are foreigners. They pay them in dollars. The servicing is denominated in dollars. You pay the C check. They don't do C check in our country. You go to France, another place for C check. That's the con comprehensive uh, maintenance and overhauling of aircraft. You do it abroad. It's dollars that you spend. Mm -hmm. Everything is literally spare parts. It's dollars that you spend. And these dollars are not readily available, they must go and get it at an expensive rate. That's why they are struggling. And a lot of them are on lease. Because they are on, on wet lease, they are obligated to pay to the people who gave them aircraft on lease. So if we don't move in and help these people, before our eyes, there be still eight that are left. We are going to see that at a point we'll have maybe four or five left. I'm, I'm amazed that nothing is being done. They've been complaining that, look, we borrowed money from the banks to buy this aircraft. Help us. But they are not doing, government is not doing anything about it. So how risky is this for us as a nation? Well, it is really very risky. Um, I was amazed that um, we were still counting error in the last few weeks as um, part of the 10. Because I, I observed in the last few months, Aero had been leasing aircraft from Cross River State. All its flights to Abuja uh, were um, done with aircraft leased from uh, Cross River, meaning that the airline was completely gone and then it wasn't going to any other route. For me, like BQ said, government should do something. Immediate measure will be to get some bailout funds across to the airlines. But then we should also be considering the long-term measures. Perhaps when the Dangote refinery comes on stream, it will help a little. But nothing stops us from refining our own crude in this country for us to be able to get the Jet A1 for these airlines to fly. Nothing stops us from being able to manufacture some of these parts here. They have grown beyond also taking all our aircraft out of this country for sea check. We should have been able to do something. When you go to most of the states establishing airports, what you hear is they want to start maintenance in country. But at the end of the day, what happens? We still take this aircraft out, meaning that there is something we are not getting right, and there it is something we must work on, not as a short-term measure, but a long-term one. Otherwise, what we are looking at now, some of the airlines for, for the one-hour flight now, whether it's 35, 25, 45 minutes, one hour, it's about 60, 70,000 now, 70,000 naira. How many people can afford that? 
business person who wants to do a business that is not huge can't put such amounts into traveling all the time. So it's, it's a big issue for the country and which we must resolve. Unfortunately, the alternatives that we have are not working well. The rail, not fully linked. Road, dangerous, safe. not safe, bad. So we've got to have something working. And like BKO said, if the aviation sector saved us during recession, then we should pay some attention to it. All right, gentlemen, one of the other um, challenges these airline operators have mentioned is the uh, soar charges. One is the 25% fuel soar charge, another is uh, additional 5% on the fuel soar charge, which they say is entirely different, or separate rather, from the 5% ticket sales charge. What is stopping the government from removing these charges? The government, the government has been spoken to repeatedly on this matter, that when it comes to... But it's in our country that VAT is made to apply to airlines. I don't know why government is insistent on taxing people without creating the environment for real growth. Because when you create the environment for real growth to happen, people will be happy to pay their taxes. Mm -hmm. But people are struggling, they are grappling with existence, grappling with life. You want to tax them out of existence. Of course, they won't be happy about that. The airlines, if we look at the mortality rate of airlines in Nigeria, I mean, I don't know any country where it is higher than Nigeria. I hope people will tell me, because sometimes when we talk about these things, that we want to see change in our country, some busybodies will say, say you start climbs. saying all kind of things. Why are you talking about Sena <laughs> climbs? But of course, if there are Sena climbs about my country, I will say it, even with a gun to my neck. But we want our country to be better run. We want our country to be a model, a country that we can show up to the rest of Africa and even beyond. But if that's not happening, we have a right to complain. The cycle fans who get paid pittance for the nonsense that they do on social media and other places, they can't shut people up when people are saying, look, you can do this better. You can run this country better. You can give greater joy to our people. Do you know how many operators, I mean, how many staff these airline operators have lost to other sectors? Because who wants to work where there is uncertainty. The moment they start owing you salary for one, two months, you start telling yourself that this is not the place to be. Absolutely. This is not even the time to owe people salary because already those who get paid sal uh, their salaries regularly, they are grappling with inflation that is buffeting us at every corner. There is no place you go that are not confronted by high prices. No place. And Everyone shows no mercy to you because they too have not been shown mercy. So these uh, these these taxes that they, they are complaining about, they've talked about the show commitment to our survivor by rolling back some of these taxes, but mm -hmm. government is reluctant. All right, before I come to you, Doctor, we have a caller, a day from London. Good afternoon, Nadi. Good afternoon. I want to you congratulate Babaji Day. For the wonderful work he's doing for free Nigerians all over the world. So we bless mm -hmm. my opponent and all that crew. Uh, regarding this, this airline, I think uh, from here, you can buy a ticket for 25 pounds to Italy and come back. Why? Why is it different? Because Nigerian system, they are not favorable to the airline. So it might not be okay, but my advice to the airline operator is that they should come together and unite. If they strike for one day, just one day, government will see tight. That's the only language our government understands in Nigeria. Because this airline is a serious business. It's a gateway for any country. That's what we give impression of any country to other countries. So it's very, very important. Thank but you I very much, Adi. Go to their heart. Thank you. All right, Dr. Your last second on this before we move on. Oh, well, um, 
what I'll also say is, in terms of taxes, government needs to have a rethink. You know, at some point, there was this um, huge argument over VAT, the value added tax, and people are saying, see, you don't tax a people who are already overtaxed. Because a lot of people don't even get to earn their salary. So what they are earning already is a pittance. Mm. And then you have all of these um, services going up, electricity, um, water, and all the rest. So it's the same thing that is happening to the airlines. Already there is a problem on ground with assessing fuel, which government agreed should be told at 480 naira for a litre, and which is being bought now at over 700 naira per litre. And then you have all these other taxes there. How do you manage? How do you um, maintain a balance in the midst of this? That's why, like Bikwe said, you find a lot of people struggling to pay tax or willing to pay it. It's the same thing that is happening to other businesses. If IRS calls and says, I'm coming to look at your books, and they say, come. And they will tell them, whatever happens, I will shut down this particular company and open another one. But the airlines can't do that, and that's where the problem is.